Hey mommies, what is good? What the fuck is poppin'? It is your girl Piper slash Nas here with another motherfucking vlog. Today is Friday. Today's a motherfucking super vlog. Don't you put that in the toilet. No. Today is Friday. I'm working six. I'm supposed to work six till ten, but this little man is going to North Carolina to visit his grandma for a whole week. So that means I don't have to get off work early as fuck. I can stay late till 2.50 if I wanna because I can sleep in the next morning. But I would probably be staying all night. I'm gonna try to stay all night, like literally until close, which is at two. So normally I don't, normally I leave between 12 and one o'clock because I don't. Why would you put that in the toilet, cochino? Yeah, so I was supposed to be doing that. I forgot what I said. He distracted me. Be leaving. I'm waiting for his dad. His dad should be picking up any minute, and then I should be hitting the road to go to work because it's like almost five, I think. Ooh, I kind of want to redo my hair, but at the same time, I don't want to. I don't want to. I finally brung the car from in my car, and I put my brushes, my flat irons, and shit all up there, and then I got my shit up here. New decor coming soon. So y'all, I kind of want this wall right here behind me, this entire wall to be cheetah wallpaper. And then possibly have this cheetah wallpaper as well. Or just have this black, this back wall cheetah wallpaper and this cheetah wallpaper too. All the way around, like this whole wall right here, cheetah wallpaper. I'm thinking about it. And then like a tan shower curtain and like a tan little cute rug in here, maybe a cheetah rug. So normal, a lot of people put like a rug right here and a rug right here and a rug right here. I put that because I don't have a rug and I don't like standing on the fucking floor when I get in the shower. So I just want one big ass tan or cheetah rug along here. And then either tan or see through, or maybe pink because I have pink up here. So I might do pink. Cheetah, tan, pink. I think that's cute. But yeah, y'all, I will see y'all when I get to the club. Actually... I'm sorry for responding late, my bad. <laughs> Honestly, so I told y'all I was gonna see y'all when I get to the club, but instead I'm going to talk to y'all really quick and inform y'all about everything that was going on. So the ones that's been with me for a minute, y'all all know that I got an apartment a while ago, right? I'm trying to explain this to make the most sense. So that apartment, which was two cities away, got condemned. There was so much shit wrong with the apartments. And I guess the city or whoever the fuck, I don't know who, sent notices to the owner of the apartments. Like they sent about seven or seven to nine notices saying, if you don't fix what needs to be fixed, everybody will have to vacate the premises. He didn't open out one of those letters. He all woke up one day to a 48 hour notice on our door saying that we all had to vacate. So a few days before july 1st so i'm gonna say three days before july 1st because we all had to leave july 1st so a few three days before july 1st we woke up to the notice saying we all have 48 hours to vacate they said that they only had to fix the elevators and that was the only thing that needed to be fixed but it turns out it was that and like something with the stairways and something with the fire hydrants being expired which is a whole bunch of shit, right so we all had a vacate. They put everybody in hotels. They paid for everybody to stay in the hotels for like two weeks. And then after that, everybody had to, you know, everybody had to just pick up their shit and leave and find somewhere to stay. You know what I mean? Trying to find something to do because I was like really homeless. Like the last go around when I told you guys I was going to talk to you about everything, but I didn't end up talking to you guys about everything. I was homeless, but I was staying with my mom. That situation wasn't like this situation there's no point in talking about it because it was like a year and a half ago so but this situation yeah i ended up being homeless because we everybody woke up to a 48 hour notice on their fucking apartment's door saying that we all had to leave so i was looking for apartments for three months it was hard as fuck this apartment specifically was hard as hell to move into. I was supposed to move in September 6th, but something happened to that unit. And then I was supposed to move in on the 15th and then something happened. And then boom, here we are. Almost a month later. Hopefully that all made sense. I didn't want to go like fully in depth, but like it was a lot. So the previous videos when I had told you guys, like I'm very happy that God made me very disciplined and really strong minded because a lot of people in my shoes, especially having a kid, 
they their mental might have not been strong enough because when i tell y'all i was homeless like even though i had somewhere to stay and i thanked god literally every day throughout the day telling him thank you like thank you even though i'm homeless thank you for allowing me to have somewhere to sleep at night even though i was sleeping on the floor for three months Thank you for allowing me to have somewhere to sleep at night. Thank you for allowing me to have money to eat. Thank you for allowing me to have a car during this time. Thank you for allowing my sister's support, my mom's support, my friend's support, everybody who's supporting me and helped me out. Thank y'all so much. Like, it would have been a lot harder if I didn't have the people that I had with me in my corner, you know? It really would have. So, this time ago was worse than the first time, but hopefully there is no next time, like, I learned, I not necessarily that I learned my lesson because none of this was preventable, but like I definitely realized a lot and experienced a lot through all of this. And I'm very grateful that I went through that. Like I, I don't want to take it back. I wouldn't go back. So with that being said, since we all separated um, after the hotel, me and my baby daddy, we separated. He has a girlfriend now. And I'm single and I'm having this beautiful apartment to myself. I've been living with my baby daddy since 2018. We've been together for eight years and I lived with him for four years. And living with him was cool. It was it was cool, but like he cheated a lot and it was a lot of shit going on. He was my major stress in my life. Now that I don't have in my life, I can't really stress about shit besides like my bills. But like we're gonna hopefully those get paid like i always had somebody going half on my bills with me now i have to pay this whole shit for myself and it's the first experience now i've had two cribs in my name but each both of those cribs me and him went half on the rent half on utilities everything but here it's gonna be all on me so i'm excited I'm, excuse me i'm excited to be in my own place i really am i cannot lie to you i can't he's coming don't mind all this that's his toy area this is his suitcase because he's about to leave Hi, baby. I'm waiting on daddy. But yeah, y'all. Hopefully that all makes sense. And uh, I'm going to stop talking about it because I have to, I need some footage. I need some space for when I go to work so I can get some footage for y'all. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be gone for a whole week, y'all. What am I going to do? What am I going to do, puppy? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all, I'm going to see y'all when I get to the motherfucking club. Say bye. <laughs> Say bye. <laughs> Yo. I'm sitting here thinking because I'm excited because, bitch, today's the day I just found out my moving date for my new apartment. I'm going to be sleeping, and I'm literally just sitting here high, just, like, thinking about how I'm going to tell you guys about everything that's been going on. Just wanted to like capture this moment because like I'm so grateful I went through this again. I really am grateful that I went through this again. I don't even I went through it again. I went through it before with y'all. Um I'm not sure if I talked to y'all about it, but I made a whole video about like me getting my new apartment and shit like that. So that's why some of y'all the loyal ones, you know, the ones that's been here, they were saying like I thought you already had an apartment, you know, so. Yeah, I just want to capture this moment because moving day is Tuesday, y'all. And I'm not dropping this vlog until I'm moving. So, yeah. So, it was fucking Friday. Moving day is Tuesday. And I'm just about to prep and get ready for my motherfucking apartment. Okay, y'all. So, I'm at my fucking door, bro. This is going to be my very first time walking into this crib by myself. You know. No man, it's not nobody home for me. Not nobody home for me. My son went to my son went to sorry, you can't even see me. He went to North Carolina today. I don't think he'll be back until Saturday, I think. Why the fuck did I leave this food outside? Mm. All right, y'all. I'm off of work. 
I got the crib ready to motherfucking roll up. So, as y'all know, today was Friday. Today was absolutely trash. Like, so trash to the point I almost left work. And I'm glad I didn't miss work. I mean, not miss work. I'm glad I didn't leave work because majority of my money is what I made in my last 30 minutes to an hour being at work. Like, no bullshit. Like, no bullshit. Most of my money came from this one guy. This girl used to work at the club and she ended up stop dancing. And she ended up coming back last night, not to dance, just as a customer. And she loves how I dance. So there was this one guy sitting next to her and she told me that she told him when I get on stage to fucking tip me. So he tipped me 60 and then I did a VIP and got 60 out of that. No, he gave me 60, I had to give 20 away. So I made 40 off of that. So I made all my money off of them for real, for real, and then this is what I had on stage. So, two, four, six, eight, 10, 110, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Two, I'm at 191 on a fucking Friday. I made damn near all of this shit my last 30 minutes to an hour and I was there since six o'clock. That's why I need to leave this club, bro. I'm like, I'm off tomorrow. I might try to go to a different club and just check it out because like $191 and I've been working since six o'clock, bro. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. Now I'm like, Okay. I'm not even gonna speak those negative words out there. Not, not, not. I'm grateful. Thank you, God, that I made this money because I could have walked out with literally nothing. I could have walked out with twenty dollars. That's what I thought I was gonna walk out in. So thank you, God. I very much appreciate it. I'm sorry for being ungrateful because I'm pretty sure there was girls in there that didn't even make this. But then again, also, um, everybody that was in there was really messing with the you know white girls and the spanish girls they weren't really messing with the you know my skin color black women they really weren't messing with us for real so yeah they weren't really messing with us and then i made eye contact with this one white boy that was sitting that was sitting with his friends right by the stage and i glanced at him and made eye contact while i was bent over and i was down and apparently he got a dance from one girl and it was trash. So he asked, he asked the waiter to ask me if I was gonna give him a dance. So I did. And that's crazy because I didn't even think he was feeling me for real. After the dance, he said, what's up when I get a kiss? I swear a fucking kiss. Niggas be bold, bro. Let's talk about some. I ain't never kissed a black girl before, can I please? Herbies. I could have herbies, sir. You're bugging, you're bugging, you're bugging, you're bugging, you're bugging, you're bugging. But overall, tonight was a slow ass night. Slow as bolt. Slow as hell. But I'm off tomorrow, which is Saturday. I'm supposed to be getting my younger sister. Supposed to be getting my younger sister so she can come sit the night with me. And then, um, I cannot mess this blunt up because it's my only blunt. I do not feel like leaving the house, so you know. Um, and then I work Sunday. Hopefully Sunday doesn't just this. All right, y'all. I'm going to roll this blunt, and I will see y'all Sunday.
been together, oh, we've been together, but separate's always better when there's feelings in power. It's what they say is nothing is forever. Then what makes, 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 love exception. So why, oh, why, oh, why? Need the th- 